Well, this is a special day in the life of our church. Um, I also want to bring communion this morning. Uh, uh, Hunter Machenko will be receiving his first communion. Uh, we did for the rest of the mostly fifth graders about three, four weeks ago. And he was not able to be present. So, Hunter, congratulations on receiving his first communion today uh, during our communion part of the service. Also, it is Easter, and since it's Easter after the service, we have a special uh, Easter egg hunt for all our children. And so, uh, you know, to have done, we'll begin 10 minutes after uh, the service concludes, uh, roughly 10.40, 10.45, somewhere in there. And so we'll gather up for donuts and coffee, all invited to uh, stay for that, and we'll have the Easter egg hunt just out the main entrance, kind of to the left. We've got some areas roped off there, and there will be... Uh, Four different colors of eggs, and so let's get four eggs. Uh, please stop at that so everybody has a chance. We've got, I don't know how many hundreds of eggs out there, but uh, there'll be plenty for everyone, and we want uh, all children uh, to participate in that. I think you said up to age 12. And so I uh, hope you have a great time with that Easter egg hunt. Uh, our thanks to all those who uh, have contributed flowers, uh, lilies, mums, azaleas, and tulips, and whatever else is up here. Uh, thank you very much. Your names are on the back here in honor and memory of people and thank you for that contribution. Well, as many as you know, we've been a church of uh, many, many blessings that has happened uh, so much time. And, uh, you know, on Good Friday, as we celebrated, um, those disciples were devastated, absolutely devastated by what happened on Good Friday that they thought Jesus was going to be their king. And uh, lo and behold, he ends up being crucified. And so the good news of Easter is that um, something very, very exciting has happened. And uh, in this church, we've been able to be blessed in so many, many ways. Even just this last uh, few weeks, we've been able to give out several food baskets. And the kids have been participating in packing some of those baskets. And, uh, many elderly in our community have been visited. And uh, this morning, I want to invite uh, Susan Midland and her family to come forward, please. And uh, her four children are here, Wyatt, Grace, Sophie, and Libby. And uh, Susan is going to be our reader this morning. And uh, her family is here. And uh, the Midbet family has uh, just been a blessing in our church. This last week I saw them over at the church, uh, on over here, in front of the screen up here. Uh, this past week I saw them over at the church. They were uh, cleaning the church. And uh, as many of you have, we want to thank you guys for helping out. They made it a family affair, and uh, they've been doing a great job. And uh, we also know that we've been praying, praying for uh, Susan's husband, Tom, who's in the military over in Afghanistan. And I think he's expected to come back sometime in June. And uh, you guys miss your dad? Yeah? And, uh, but uh, how long has your dad um, been over in Afghanistan? You know? July of last summer. When is he due to come back? Okay. Well, as I mentioned, we've been able to uh, do some blessing in this congregation. We wanted to bless you with someone that might be uh, with some gifts that would be a housekeeper to help you in all the ways that you have uh, uh, helped out us. And so... If we could ask this uh, housekeeping gift to come on out. Jason. Is something supposed to happen? <laughs> Thanks. How did the cleaning go over at the church the other day? Good. <laughs> Except for you.
right. Well, welcome home, Tom. I'm so glad to have you and uh, to have you safe and back. Yeah. Susan, you're not worried about reading today. <laughs> we'll find someone to do that. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> Our marine son, Dave, is back after eight months in the Mediterranean. Let's see how our dog, Mystic, reacts. This is four years after the first time where she greeted him coming through this door. No, hey, puppy, puppy, who's this? Hi, puppy. Doggies never girl. forget. Good girl. So kids, is it pretty exciting to see your mom? Yeah, what, tell me some of your feelings. I was really surprised. I was really surprised and it was great for my mom. Um, I got in really late last night, so I stayed at a friend's house, so I didn't ruin the surprise for today. <laughs> and when did you, when did you start planning this surprise? Um, I planned it a long time ago in Afghanistan. I was gonna actually walk in during their lunchtime at school. And uh, I found out last minute they both had a field trip the same day at the zoo. So I planned this in about 10 minutes last night. How's it feel to be home? It feels amazing, especially to have these two with me. I miss them so much. Awesome! Take this off! What are some of the little things you miss about your kids? The little things? Them fighting and bickering and not wanting to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Getting them ready for school, every everything. I miss everything. And how about mom? What do you miss about mom? What I miss about mom is her yelling at me to clean my room. <laughs> you miss that, huh? <laughs> Are you going to spend any time at the zoo this afternoon? Yeah, we're going to walk around the zoo. They want to stay here and hang out, so we'll do that. That's fine. Anything they want to do. I gave them the option. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're hanging on pretty tight there. I miss them.
Everybody's doing good today? Yes. We have a surprise. Are you guys ready? Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Back a little. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. about a parent. So please listen up because you're going to like this. This We got a hold of this mother and father. Someone gave us the name. I don't did not know them. I just met them tonight and I found out the father had to leave. But this mother, her son is in the Marines. He's uh, deployed. He's going to be back. In, I just found out today he'll be back in about a week. So he's going to be home pretty soon. But I just thought it'd be nice done. Donna Predico, would you come up here? Donna, come up here. This young woman, she has a 20-year-old son, serving this country. They represent Kyle Falls. How about a nice hand for this mother? Say hello. And Michael, Michael is coming back next week, right? He might be. She thinks he's coming back next week. But I just thought, you know, I, these are the kind of things that... Uh, can bring tears to your eyes. And I just thought we might have a little surprise, give her a flower, do something for her. But since you're a good mother, and what the hell, you haven't seen your son in a year, and he did, he did not marry a foreign girl, so don't worry about that. But I thought we might have a little surprise for Donna. Bob, if you will. So you just sit all over the crowd, wave to everybody. You recognize the song yet?
Surprise with a little sister. Uh, just got back from Afghanistan a few weeks ago, and it's my first day on leave, so it should be pretty good. Colin just got home yesterday. He'll be home for about a week. We haven't seen him now since January of last year, and so we've had like one or two video chats, but besides that, now we haven't seen him at all. So, for some reason, we just kind of were more attached than me and my other siblings. I'll give her a nice big hug. I was really surprised it's to have them surprise me like this. It was really fun. And just to watch Kaylee's Kaylee's expression is priceless. <laughs> What, what kind of went through your mind? What were you thinking? Like, oh my god, I can't believe this. My brother's home. How long has it been, Kaylee? Uh. <laughs> Too long, right? Oh, Eight excuse me. <laughs> I'm, all my friends are going to be happy for me. Uh, I was really glad she, uh, she was actually surprised that my mom didn't ruin it. But, I don't know, it was fun. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm so happy and excited for him to be home. 